Disney's about to drop their ex-dividend date on July 8th. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let's get into it. What's up, everybody? So this is Stocks for Rail. I wanted to talk to y'all about Disney. All right. The reason why I'm bringing up Disney is because on July 8th, Disney has its ex-dividend date scheduled. Right. So what's an ex-dividend? Right. Ex-dividend essentially is like a cutoff line for when uh, shareholders can um, get a piece of the pie of, uh, of the profit of the company. So anybody that purchased Disney stock prior to July 8th would be eligible for the payout of the dividend that's coming up, right? If you were to buy Disney shares after July 8th, you would not be eligible for uh, this particular payout, but you would be a shareholder of the company, right? So that's kind of what that is. Now, how does this affect Disney? Okay. So typically what you would have seen in the past is that, um, when a company announces an ex dividend date, um, what you typically see is an increase of buying. Um, people are trying to load up on a stock or a company so they can get that eligibility. And then after, or once the date hits, so July 8th, once it hits, then you, tar you start to see a little bit of a sell-off. You met the elig uh, eligibility, so people are selling off shares or stock of the company. So I don't think you're going to see um, as much of a pullback um, uh, now with, with how the financials are t um, gone over nowadays, right? So now everything is kind of baked in or factored into uh the the financials essentially so we kind of know that this is accounted for essentially for disney so you won't see as drastic as of moves as you typically would and one thing we didn't see um really um before market closed was this major rally now we did go from 97.59 up to about 9804. Now this is a range um, from way back. Like back in January, we were around this time as well on these levels. And it took seven days of being range bound with Disney um, to break out of these levels. So guess what day is the seventh day for Disney? July 8th. OK, so this Monday, I'm expecting a big move or breakout for Disney. Now, we can't tell the future. Right. But what I'm saying to you is, is that it can break up out or it can break down. I'm really, really hoping based on what I know about Disney that we're going, you know, up because it is a profitable company. They're making money. They're making moves. Right. They don't have any legal issues that's going on like uh, that was haunting them in the past. Um they have a lot going for them on the streaming services. They're doing billions of dollars in the box office. There's a lot, a lot of positivity around Disney, especially on expanding on um, their money makers, which is their theme parks and their cruises, right? Um, so they're doing that $60 billion expansion over the course of 10 years. So it's a lot of good things going on with Disney. So ultimately, I will share my screen um, right here um, and then you will see where this range is for Disney. Now, two things can happen. One, we could see a, a brief double top because we're already there. We already tested 98 uh, once we we uh, we were rejected, pulled back to 97.84 and then we went back up to about 98.05 and we got another long wick there of, of being rejected. And now we're kind of in this, um, um, this point of control, right? There's a lot of buyers and sellers. They are kind of agreeing on the price right here, right? They, everybody likes it around the 90, uh, the $98 range. Okay. 90, yeah, $98 range. So we need to see what's going to happen here. So, so essentially we need to break out for Disney. Either this thing is going to pull all the way down 
for breakout down to 95, 95, 54, 95, 95, 54, or we're going to break out and proceed with new highs. Um, I really do think that if we're more bullish tomorrow and as long as the market isn't going to go against us, um, we're likely to see a nice rally for Disney after a small pullback from the dividend um, date approaching. OK, so I think that's about all I have on that. Um, the overall health of the company is good. Like I said, um, we're. Uh, we're in this consolidation, um, but I guess time will tell. Either which way, this is Stocks for Real. Take care. Just so everybody aware, you might have noticed that my nails are done. I have girls, and I'm not redoing the video. So if you see that in the video and you notice it, that's why your boy's nails are kind of like that. So I'm not going to apologize for it. If you're a girl dad, you're a girl dad, you know what it is. Take care.